hi guys today's video i'm going to show you how to connect with postgres database and we can set up with laravel docker image so in my previous video i already show you how to connect with mysql database set up the scheduler and set up the cron so in the same project i'm going to set up and integrate the pgsql database so let me go to my vs code editor and you can see that this is the docker file and here is the command for the mysql database and here is the docker compose for you can see that uh, db environment for mysql and here is the e env configuration okay so first of all what i'm going to do i will just set up the minimal just install the pgsql and then connect with that connect uh, with that uh, database okay so let me go to the docker file and here first of all what i'm going to do instead of mysql because we are not going to use the mysql so just use pdo and then i will add another package for postgres so pdo underscore pg sql like this just save it and then i need to add dependency library so just leave pq dash dev so this is the library we need for dependency of pdo pg sql so that's it for docker file and now let me go back to the docker compose and you can see that i have we already created a db image for mysql database same thing we need to do for pg sql so just rename this postgres column i'm just adding the 15 and then we don't require root for environment variable just remove that save it and here I'm going to define the database name, username, password, what we are doing for MySQL. So just I will use post grace underscore db. And that db we will keep name is Laravel. So we don't have to change many things. Just copy this, paste it. And here I will define the user, keep Laravel, paste it. And just I will use pass word like this and secret we will keep save it and port you can see that mysql is running on 3307 but we can change it to 5433 just remove this and same way over here 5040 32 like this okay and then you can see that volume also define over here and that's db data and by default for mysql it's where library mysql but for pgsql it's different so i will just use post press ql slash data just save it so this is very simple and basic configuration for docker compose file now let me go back to env file and here the deb db connection will become pgsql and then host name will be db as it is because we are only change on the same image and then port will change 5432 just save it rest of all will be the same like database name username and password and save it and now let me go to the terminal and let's create the image so let me clear this and just i will run docker compose of t and just wait a moment to create to build a file you can see that our all the images are generated properly now let me go back to the browser and just run localhost 8080 and you can see that laravel 12 project is up and running okay and you can see that in my previous video we already set up the cron job to creating a user you can see over here scheduler we already defined let's see it's working or not so let me go here just i will call users hit enter and you can see that users doesn't exist so that means the table is not exist so let me go here and run the migration so let me clear it and just i will use docker compose execute okay and then you can see that web php migrate okay so that means we are going to run the migration and now if i go here and hit refresh you can see that that page is working perfectly fine now let's wait to run the scheduler is working or not so just wait Yeah, you can see that one user is created let's wait after five seconds it will be create another user you can see that 
so that means our scheduler is working with that database but we can show it like they are using the same database so let me go here and i'm going to run let me clear this docker compose db okay because we have created db uh, uh, image and then you can see that psql command dash u that means the user is laravel and dash d database is laravel hit enter and you can see that we are connected with the pgsql you can see that that is the version of pg as well and now let me go and just use select start from users and hit enter and you can see that right now we have a four users so let me go back here just hit refresh you can see that so that means it is working perfectly fine like it's very simple and basic example of how to connect pgsql database and you can use with the docker image so i hope at the end i hope guys if you like this video then share with your friends and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more videos see you in the next video guys